Welcome to WebStyle Press. In this tutorial, we are going to build this audio player in React.js. It's got playback controls and a waveform. It will display nice information about the music being played, total duration, current volume and volume level. We can play, stop, pause, mute the player and we can increase, decrease volume as well. Let me show you. It is very simple to build and can be a nice React.js project in your portfolio. So use your favorite React.js starter app and install two libraries, Font Awesome and Wave Surfer. npm install wavesurfer.js. Wavesurfer.js installed. Now let's install Font Awesome. Font Awesome SVG Core, Font Awesome Free, Solid SVG Icons, and React Font Awesome. Once we have installed these, run the app. Use CSS to improve player styling. ID waveform, width and max width 100%. Class controls, margin top 10 pixels. Controls button styling, margin and border, hover effect for buttons, and information area styling. In src folder, create components directory. Insights assets directory, place audio file. Insights components directory, create a new file called audio player.gsx. Export default function audio player. It will receive audio file as prop. Save. In app.gsx file, import audio file from assets and audio player component from components. Let's use this audio player. Use audio player component. Pass audio file as prop. Our work is done from here. Go to audio player component. Import react hooks for state and effect management. Also import use ref. Import wave surfer from wavesurfer.js. And import font awesome icon from react font awesome. Import font awesome icons from font awesome SVG icons. I'm importing play icon, pause icon, volume up, volume down, volume mute, and volume off. Configure wave surfer instance options. In these options, we can set wave color, progress color, responsiveness, height, and other options for the waveform. Form wave surfer options function takes a single argument, ref, which will be the reference to a DOM element where the wave surfer instance will be rendered. Container is set to the past ref. It indicates the container element in which the wave surfer instance will be displayed. Normalize true ensures that the waveform is scaled such that its peak amplitude reaches the maximum height of the container. Backend web audio indicates the type of backend to use for waveform rendering. Web audio is a common choice for modern web applications. Now, first, let's define the state. We have defined state for playing, volume, muted, duration, current time, and audio file name. Also, use ref hook is used here. Use ref hook can be used to store any mutable value that you want to persist across renders without causing additional renders when its value changes. This is different from state variables created using use state, which cause the component to re render when their values change. Waveform ref creates a ref object. Initially, it's set to null. This ref will be used to get a reference to a DOM element where the wave surfer instance will be displayed. This will be the element that holds the audio waveform visualization. I have also initialized wave surfer with null. We will use it to store the wave surfer instance itself. Since wavesurfer.js creates an object to manage and control the audio waveform, wavesurfer will be used to hold this object. 
This allows for easy access to the Wave Surfer instance for operations like playing, pausing, or manipulating the audio without needing to recreate the instance on each render. This is the waveform container. Inside it, we will place controls like buttons. So this is play pause button. Button for mute, unmute. A volume slider. Volume down button. And volume up button. I'm using button and inside font awesome icon font awesome icon need icon prop icons will be changed based on relevant state for play pause button on click handler is handle play pause this icon will change based on playing state initial state is false for playing so if state is false we will show pause icon otherwise play icon for mute button on click handler is handle mute. Icon will be volume off or volume mute. Volume mute icon will change based on muted state. Volume slider. It will get its value from the state muted. If muted state is true, value will be zero. Otherwise value will be this volume on change handler for volume slider will be handle volume change that will receive event target value on click handler for volume down button will be handle volume down and its icon will be volume down on click handler for volume up button will be handle volume up and its icon will be FA volume up. So all of this was button control. Now let's add some information area. So here will be the audio file name and current play time. Playing audio file name that is stored in this state. And this is the duration. That will be the output from function format time. Duration is coming from this state. And here, format time, current time. Stored here. Also, volume information from this state. All right, now let's handle on click handlers. But first, let's format time. This is the helper function to format the time that will take seconds. Format time is the function that is being used here. And we are passing certain values from state to it. So it will receive seconds and then it will convert seconds into a formatted time string of the format hours, minutes and seconds. This is useful for displaying time durations in a user-friendly format, such as the length of an audio track or a timer. To ISO string is a method that converts the date object into ISO string. And substr is then used to extract a specific part of this ISO string. So this function format time will be used here to display the time in a user-friendly manner. This area will display total time duration for audio file and current time. Now let's initialize Wave Surfer and set up event listeners. Use effect. Here use audio file as its dependency. If audio file will be changed, use effect will rerun. So here create wave surfer instance with options. Options, form wave surfer options, 
these are the options wave form ref dot current so we are calling form wave surfer options function and passing the current value of wave form ref to this function Now create a new wave surfer instance with these options. Load the audio file. When wave surfer is ready, set volume, duration and file name in this state. Update current time and state as audio plays. Clean up event listeners and destroy instance on unmount. Now this was the tough part. Now it's easy. We have to just handle on-click handlers. We have created wave surfer instance. On-click handlers will just manipulate or change this instance and update state accordingly. So let's handle on-click handlers. This will toggle playback of audio. This function will toggle this state set playing to false or true it will also trigger play pause method in current wave surfer instance handle volume change handle volume change will receive argument from the volume slider and it will set the state And here the volume of the actual wave surfer instance is being set to new volume value received from the volume slider. Set muted will change this state muted. So set muted is being called here and this expression checks if the new volume is exactly zero. If it is, the expression evaluates to true Otherwise, it's false. So based on true false, set muted will set muted state accordingly. Then we have handle mute. Muted is state. If muted state is false, use a value from the volume state otherwise set volume to zero for wave server current instance handle volume down handle volume up to increase volume we will call handle volume change function and pass new value by adding 0.1 in current volume value from state Volume is also a state. Similarly, to decrease volume, we will call a handle volume change function and we'll deduct 0, 0.0 from current volume value from state and pass the new value to handle volume change function. And now the audio player should work as intended. And this is our audio player playing. This is the audio file name. Duration, 2 minutes, 54 seconds. Current time, 0. Volume, 100%. See, volume is being changed. Mute. Volume increase, decrease. This waveform should be above then these controls okay, the problem seems to be here this is the waveform div these are the controls and this is audio info now the waveform is above then controls. So let's try this.
working perfectly and this is the total duration current time volume level everything is working perfectly so this is how you can build an audio player with custom controls and waveform in react.js all right if you want to support website plus check out our patreon or store okay i hope it helped like share subscribe and i will see you in the next video